My dear friends, in chapter 9 last week, Paul has argued that physical descent from Abraham is not enough to be a member of the chosen people. Rather, the important thing is faith, and Christian faith is the subject of our reading today. Verse 9 is the heart of the matter. In our translation, if you openly declare that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. I want to unpick what Paul is claiming here, as it is sometimes misunderstood. Paul is linking together what we say with our lips with what we believe in our hearts. In other words, it is not a mere matter of an incantation. It is not like saying, open sesame, and the door opens. To say, Jesus is Lord, is not to recite words from memory, like half-remembered poetry learned at school. Saying, Jesus is Lord, is only a means of salvation if it is believed in the heart. And Paul links the claim that Jesus is Lord with the belief that God raised him from the dead. In other words, we cannot separate out the lordship of Jesus from the resurrection. The one implies the other. Which tells us something profound and essential about what sort of Lord that Jesus is and what we are being saved from. Jesus was put to death by the powers of this world, by the prince of this world, and in doing so, those powers revealed their true nature. They govern by fear, by the fear of death most especially. This fear keeps people captured and controlled, and prevents life, life in all its fullness. The resurrection is the overcoming of death which means that we no longer need to be afraid of death, which means that we no longer need to be afraid of those who threaten us with death, which means that we are in a position to acknowledge the true Lord, who has conquered death and the powers of death, and this gives us access to life, life in all its fullness. If Jesus did not conquer death, then he was just another bug squashed on the windscreen of the juggernaut of worldly power. He no longer matters. Yet to say that Jesus is Lord is to say that the prince of this world and all those who serve him are not Lord. We owe them no allegiance. We offer them no fear. Which means that we live differently. If we really believe that through the resurrection of Jesus, death has been conquered, and we no longer need to be afraid of death, then we start to behave in a manner that gives meaning to those words. We start to walk upon the water in our own right. We do even greater things than Jesus did. I wonder how many of you have heard the expression attributed to St Francis, preach the gospel, use words if you must. It is in the living out of our faith that we proclaim what we truly believe, and we are called to proclaim it. For as Paul goes on to say, how can people believe in Jesus if they have never heard of him? We are all called to be evangelists, and an evangelist is simply a messenger, one who proclaims the result of a battle which has meant the accession of a new king, Jesus is Lord, so show and tell. Until we meet again. Amen.